in the midst of this pandemic, digital transformation is actually a necessity for us now, more than ever. According to an April 2020 Oops Ramp survey, 61% of respondents plan to accelerate spending on digital transformation to support the forced transition to remote work and be fully engaged in digital customer interactions. Kaya nga nagboom ang e-commerce ngayon, di ba? Technology is augmenting us in unimaginable ways. Being born in digital age where technology evolves in just a blink of an eye, we have the world's knowledge at our fingertips. This is Teacher RJ and join me as we discuss how one particular issue or news is presented through different types of media. Here is our most essential learning competency for today's lesson. And today's objectives, learners are expected to Learn the following. Internet has led to an explosion of available information. The reason why when students search for information about a certain topic, they are met with a massive articles and files from both credible and non-credible resources. At para maiwasan mo ang makakuha ng maling impormasyon, you should be an information literate. You should know how to evaluate the content of the website at kung legit ba mismo yung site na pinagkunan mo ng information. Research today has started in a man. So saan kaya kayo pwedeng makakuha ng mga information? Well, there are a lot of resources. Find the best media for you. Eh teka, ano nga ba ulit ang media? Marketing business news defined media as the communication channels through which we disseminate news, music, movies, education, promotional messages, and other data. Media can be broken down into three main categories. 1. Print media 2. Broadcast media and 3. New media but before that, take note that the common characteristics between print and new media are that they can be in a plain text, an illustration, or can have both. Plain texts are simple and flexible yet it has a textual design to represent meaning and illusion to attract its reader. Text enables the linear sequencing of information in a structured format. Siyempre, malaki din ang tulong ng typography which includes the fonts and alignments kaya nagiging mabilis at madali nating nababasa kasi titles are written in bold letters at pag may important code and messages, naka-italize naman. Like this. Illustration, on the other hand, can be an infographics, cartoons, or photography. Let's talk about infographics first. So these are visual representation of information to understand the complex data easily. Sample of infographics are as follows. Next is cartoon. It is a series of drawings that tell a story. Cartoon conveys a lot of information in very few words. In printed media, ang common type na ginagamit ay editorial cartoon. An editorial cartoon is an illustration that provides an opinion or commentary on current events and personalities. It is a form of expression, a visual medium that engages the audience. Cartoons have that everlasting impact on the minds of readers. 
They are such effective communicators that in a few lines, they describe the most important event of the day. The next is photography. Irish Museum of Modern Art defined photography, which literally means drawing with light. Photography is the process of recording an image on light's sensitive films, or in the case of digital photography, via a digital electronic or magnetic memory. The photograph is evident in nearly every aspect of modern life. As a form of communication and documentation, photographs are present in newspapers, magazines, advertisements, posters, television, the internet, and so on. Photography plays a crucial role in how we immediately view something. Whether it's an ad or promotion, a small black post, or in today's top headlines of well-known media outlets. Quality does not just mean the skill in achieving some of the techniques of photography, but also, more importantly, the subject and how it's portrayed. At alam nyo ba na ang kumuha ng mga street photographs na ipinakita ko kanina ay mga dating estudyante ng Acacia National High School? Sila ay sina Jessica Bangbang at Angela Lucero na college student na ngayon. Isa sila sa nagbigay ng malaking parangal sa school. Naging passion na nila ang photography which actually led them to start their own freelance business, ang Hoan Vision. So for inquiries, you may check their FB page. Alright, so as I was saying a while ago, all of these characteristics can be found in print and new media. But let's talk about print media first, okay? Print media refers to paper publications such as books, billboards, posters, banners, newspapers, magazines, journals, and other materials that are physically printed. Anyway, at present, since it's pandemic and physical contact are prohibited as much as possible, some print media have digital versions and are available for download through applications or websites. In marketing, they are among the oldest and most effective types of advertising. Investing in print media can help businesses to extend their reach to potential customers, gain exposure, and engage their target audiences with campaigns. To learn more about this, you may visit the video lesson for traditional and contemporary approaches to marketing. Moving on, ito naman ang mga example ng print media. The next category is broadcast media. Merriam-Webster define it as the act of transmitting sounds or images by radio or television. Broadcast media is also one of the traditional media approach, but it still has a major part to play in getting exposure of ideas, products, services, news, and information out to a mass audience. In advertising, broadcast media can give a company a competitive edge over other businesses because there's an immediacy that makes an impact. People still watch televisions and listen to terrestrial radios. Consumers tend to remember the ads they hear or see on radio or television. Now the question is, lahat ba nang naririnig natin ng news sa radio at sa nakikita natin sa television ay puro mga tamang impormasyon? Well, supposedly, dapat tama talaga kasi masisira ang credibility nila pag hindi. Kaya nga tayo may tinatawag na Code of Ethics for Media. Tandaan, lahat ng organisasyon ay dapat alam ang salitang business ethics 
and social responsibility. category we have new media here contents are organized and distributed on digital platforms new media is comprised of websites online video audio streams emails online social platforms online communities and so much more new media is considered to be the multimedia and digital form of communication happening via desktop and laptop computers, as well as phones, tablets, and other devices. New media has introduced user interaction rather than simply consuming media. New media can be customized to the user's preferences and it can selectively link from one form of content to another, which is known as Web 2.0 or Dynamic Web Page. Amartya Sen mentioned in her article entitled Peace and Democracy Society that mass media and other forms of communication technology have an enormous influence in helping to shape public opinion and underlying sentiment. Which actually means that newspaper, TV and radio, as well as web news are all important sources of basic information about other people and other places, and this can itself help to cause understanding if presented in a fair way. Ibig sabihin, hindi bias ang pamamayag. With that being said, in your activity, Find one recent news or issue which was published in three media categories. Tapos, spot the similarities and differences of how each type of media presented those news or issue. So, this was adapted from Merriam Library, California State University. 1. Currency Is this a recent article? Does the date affect the content or context? Some articles shared on social media can be older articles that may relate to current events, but not have current or accurate information. So if the article is not recent, the claims may no longer be relevant or have been proven wrong. Another one to consider is relevance. Are the article in the web news and newspapers relevant? Or does the content stated in broadcast media is something useful? Does it fill your information need? Related ba yung headlines sa content ng balita? Sa web news and social media sites, remember that you know they may appear to be addressing a current topic but you must read past the headline and determine its relevance to the content be aware of quick bait okay next is authority or the anchor so sino ba yung author cha yung anchor have they demonstrated expertise and experience what is the source does it have an agenda or bias? Well-known authors or anchors do not always mean they are correct. Remember that, guys, because some tends to be biased and leave out important voices. So you need to do the research. Another one is accuracy. Can the content be verified by multiple sources? Is it factual? Are you aware of the source's biases? Guys, remember to make sure to be skeptical of articles only appearing in one place that you are unable to confirm. So you have to know the original source of the story. This is particularly important with images that are shared wildly across social media today. So lagi nyo check ang detalye na yon, Okay? So next is purpose. Does this article provoke an emotional response? 
The intent of a valid news sources is to inform, while an emotional response to specific information is for the sole purpose of provoking anger, outrage, fear, happiness, excitement, or confirmation of one's own beliefs. Yun lang. Break a leg on your activity. Now for your assessment, I want you to answer this question. Alright, and thank you for watching everyone. So, shout out by the way to all my Japanese and Taiwanese students out there.